and welcome if you're new or welcome back if you're back. Either way, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. My name is Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. And um, I'm pretty excited about today's video. Basically, um, during the summer, I made a video about like tips for dressing alt or whatever in the summertime. And now it is winter and some people were like, where are you going to do one for winter? And I'm like, yeah, I probably should, right? Especially since I live in Canada and have for the majority of my life. Um, so it's very cold here, so I have a lot of experience dressing for the cold. So I guess I'm just gonna share my tips with you today. I made a list the other day, and I'll try to supplement um, the talking portion of my <laughs> of my video with like little outfit um, examples as usual. So um, let's get into it. So first and foremost, what I will say is the things that I talk about. Try to get them at the thrift store, look around charity shops, um, vintage shops, secondhand shops, um, Facebook Marketplace, Depop. Secondhand is gonna be your best bet for this stuff for finding it for cheap prices and in like a more sustainable way than fast fashion, but also if you have to fast fashion it, I understand, um, no shame. But yes, thrift stores is what I would highly, highly recommend. Now that that's out of the way, um, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do for dressing in the winter is focus on layers. Um, so this can look a lot of different ways. You can do um, like long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts like I have right now. You can add like flannel over top. I know a lot of um, punks have like battle vests um, that are really great for the summer, but in the winter you can wear them like over your flannel on a t-shirt with like a battle vest over top and then like a big hoodie or something or like a jacket over top of that. And it can add like an extra you know like element of cool individuality to your outfit um, while also adding an extra layer. Another way to add um, layers oversized hoodies is something that I absolutely love in the winter especially because you can put like sweaters underneath your hoodie if you need to or long sleeves underneath your hoodie if you need to if you can find one with spooky graphics or if you can um, iron on a spooky graphic or do like um, I saw a tutorial recently on tumblr for like using transfer um, paste I think it's called where you can like print a picture um, and then use a transfer paste to make it onto an outfit so or like to make it into a patch so that would be really a good way to add maybe a cool graphic to your oversized hoodie. I am also a huge fan of grandpa cardigans and like really big like kind of loose knit ones. You can also add like patches to the elbows. I think that's a super fun way to like DIY them or like a patch to kind of like this section is super fun. Um, I tend to find the best ones in the men's section at the thrift store. That's where you're going to want to look and you can find one with like such nice cozy quality and like for so cheap so highly highly recommend that. Grandpa sweaters are also great if you're not into the cardigan you can get like a turtleneck or like a low one with like fun graphics or just like a black one and you can like put a patch on it like there's lots of ways on the topic of kind of top wear um capes i am such a big fan of capes whether they're like kind of short little ones um those can be super fun i have like i think i have like two or three of those and they're amazing especially for the winter because you can like like as always pile a bunch of layers underneath them but also like super long capes you can find them at costume stores or like sometimes if you're lucky at the thrift store that's where i found my like super long black velvet cape and it's so toasty for the winter and it just makes me feel like so spooky when I get to go out in it. So like highly recommend capes for keeping warm and looking spooky. Okay, and then for jackets, um, you can go a bunch of different um, directions depending on what your personal style is. One thing that I've been a big fan of lately that I finally got my own of is like a faux leopard print kind of jacket for the winter and that's going to be like my winter jacket for this year um but you could go a bunch of different directions depending on what your your style is you could go like with a big leather jacket that you can like pile hoodies under you could go with like a trench coat if you're like want to go for that really classic goth vibe you could go for like a pea coat if you like want to do like the vintage thing with like i don't know i think they're called pea coats the ones that have like the little cape like the little cape oh my god i'm obsessed with those lately and there's like this site called hell bunny that i've just been like looking at their jackets and stuff lately and I'm not gonna buy any of them because they're very expensive but they're so freaking cute like I'll put some pictures up but oh my god so cute and vintage and I love like the little the little the coat thing so if you're like into the really vintage style and you want to invest in a good coat I think I would recommend hell bunny even though I can't vouch for them but their stuff is so cute oh my god I can't um but yeah you could go whatever freaking direction you want to go for with like your winter jacket you could go with a pvc jacket a velvet jacket a silk one like a plaid one um you could go long, short, studded, freaking lace edges. You can DIY it with like all your different patches and paints that you want to do. I recently did a video of like how to DIY or how I DIY my leather jacket recently, so I'll pin it up there. Um, 
You could even just go with like a regular black jacket, like the kind of ones that you find at the thrift store, like just any kind of black jacket, and then just put a patch on it, that like a handmade patch, there you go. It automatically looks like a little alternative, a little edgy, like I, I, you don't have to go like all the way, you don't have to buy brand name stuff, like in my experience, the coolest alternative clothing that I own is stuff that I have DIY'd myself or like thrifted or like the friends have made, like it's never the stuff that you just get from the like basic alternative stores. Um, not that there's any shame in that, do whatever you want, but in my opinion like DIY and thrift and like recycling stuff is where it's at for um, most alternative fashions. I can't speak to everything, but like in my experience dabbling within like punk and goth and pastel goth and stuff, that's what I've found has been the best. One thing I'm a big fan of for layers on your legs is um, leggings with like a skirt over top and then like a bunch of layered socks. Um, this is kind of a thing that I picked up from their username back then was Shortcut to the Stars, but now they go by May Magi on Tumblr. I'll insert some pictures of them because they have amazing fashion sense, but like their big layered um, kind of neutral tones is something that I adopted, but in my case I usually do it with like plaid skirts and like um, lots of like black socks and like different leg warmers and stuff. Um, you can make your own leg warmers if you like cut the sleeves off of um, sweaters. You can also do that with um, if you cut the feet off of socks you can make leg warmers. You can knit leg warmers if you're into like knitting or crocheting that kind of thing. You can also find them at the thrift store lots of times. Either way big socks and um, leg warmers are like a great thing in my opinion for the winter. Ooh, long skirts if you're like into the kind of like vampire-y or like fairy aesthetic that like very like flowy kind of long stuff like you could wear your long skirts and wear leggings underneath as like a way to keep warm. Um, skin tone leggings are also a great thing where you can like wear a really short skirt but skin tone leggings underneath and then it looks like super fun and like punk or whatever but you're not cold in the winter and, and you can also wear like your regular fishnets over top of skin tone leggings that are like fleece lined like the thing that I like to wear for the winter is fleece lined leggings like I have a pair here so like the inside of them super thick and toasty um so they're really really good for keeping you warm I don't know if there's like dark options available. I feel like there should be but I will see if I can find them and link them below. Um, but you can find um, kind of fleece lined leggings in like a skin tone and then put your like stripey tights over top or your fishnets over top and then your skirt and like that's super fun. On the note of leggings you can do like lacy ones or fishnet ones or stripey ones I'm a big fan of. You can get all sorts of different patterned ones at your local costume stores if you have ones that are like year-round or like online if you don't have those. Um, lots of people also that are more like gothy or punk like to do like the PVC or like shiny leggings. That can be super fun. I can't speak to how warm those are for the winter but hey. <laughs> if you can do it. Okay, um, in terms of footwear and boots, I am a huge huge fan of like big stompy boots for the winter um, or just like uh, Doc Martin or like kind of um what are they called? Combat boots? But you could go like in any direction you want to go. Like there's lots of platform boots that are super fun. You could go like a pointy witch boot for like that fun like kind of gothy situation. You could go with like Mary Janes and like big um, socks. Like whatever you want to go with, like whatever your aesthetic is. Like I promise there's an alternative footwear that um, can suit your style. Um, a big fan, a website that I am a big fan of is called, oh my god. I'll insert the name of it because I don't remember it, but you know, it's it's a great website for shoes and they have like lots of different um, options and that's where I got like my vegan demonio sperm and I love them. For hands, I feel like it's um, a great time to break out your gloves. I've seen some people do some really fun like embroidery on like, you know how people have like knuckle tattoos? I've seen people do embroidery on the knuckles of their like gloves. So that could be like a super fun kind of like punk rock thing to do. Um, fingerless gloves I'm a huge fan of, but I don't know how much it defeats the purpose of in the winter, but they're like an extra layer. Um, you could also go with striped gloves, frilly gloves, skeleton gloves. Um, you can make DIY arm or leg warmers like I mentioned um, out of like socks um, are great for arm warmers. And you can also like poke the thumb hole in. So you have like those, you know, like 
this kind of situation, but with a hole. <laughs> um, yes, um, put buttons and pins on your outerwear. That's like a great way, whether they're enamel pins, buttons, handmade like painted buttons or clay ones, um, whatever you want to do, you can totally DIY your own stuff if you don't have the money to like buy a bunch of enamel pins. Can you buy like a little thing of polymer clay and like DIY a couple of your own things with that? Because like that's also like a super fun thing. And then they're like more unique to you because like you made them yourself and like how cool is that and people can be like oh my god i love your pin of like this or that band and you can be like thanks i made it myself like how fun is that you know this goes for year round but i'm a big proponent of like big chunky jewelry and like giant earrings um found object stuff like big old necklaces big spiky chokers um uh studded bracelets chain and lock necklaces um DIY earrings and necklaces and stuff out of um, found objects and like different crystals. I've been meaning to do a tutorial on how to like do a macrame wrap, but for now I'll just like link one below, but like you can do your own um, wraps of like crystals and stuff very easily and it's like a great way to make your own jewelry. For year round, but especially in the winter when a lot of your um, kind of cool outfit might be covered up, I find that dark makeup, whether you're um, no matter what your gender is, <laughs> um, can be a really good way to make it like look a little more alternative, whether you want to just go with like some really dark eyeliner or dark lipstick or like go all the way and do like super intense like bat wings on your face and like big swirls and like all the super fun stuff like whatever you want to do um if you want to do makeup i think that's like a great way to add um like kind of a dark alternative edge to your look also painting your nails is a great way to do that again no matter your gender um if you want to do facial piercings that's a great thing to do if you don't want to do facial piercings for whatever reason but you like the look of them have you thought about um fake piercings or like just sticking some fake gems on your face in like the places the piercings would be because it's like easy and like very cheap way cheaper than a piercing and doesn't hurt as much so like that's a thing you can get like fake septum rings you can get um fake like nose rings like whatever you want to do if you have fluffy hair such as myself and hats don't really fit on you earmuffs are a great alternative to that you can use hats i don't really wear that many hats but I feel like beanies can probably give you like kind of an alternative look especially because I've seen some people put like enamel pins on that that's always fun um you can also um wear wigs for like some extra ear warmth and like you can get like colorful ones and put like fun like hair clips in them or just like your regular hair and that can be like a fun way to like add like color and like an alternative edge to your wardrobe in my opinion oh I'm a big fan of like big scarves and I feel like if you wrap them around your shoulders in like kind of a shawl way it can make it look like very more ethereal and if you layer a bunch of scarves over top of each other I think that's a super fun look and a way to um keep cozy I also like to layer like really big um jewelry over top of scarves so I think that's like a fun kind of potentially alternative thing um you can also add pins and patches <laughs> as always another thing that's like great for winter but year round but like especially for winter because like your face is going to be out um color contacts elf ears clip and hair these kind of things from the costume store are going to be like little ways to add like a little alternative edge to your look um fangs elf ears like i'm wearing like right now um dorian from of herbs and altar he does incredible ethereal kind of looks in so many of his videos and i just i um have been watching his uh, content more recently and just like every single look he does i'm like oh my god that's so freaking cool so um just like those little things that like won't break the bank like occasionally if you buy like a pair of contacts or like a pair of elf ears and they'll like last you quite a while not so much the contacts but like the elf ears and the fangs um and it can just be like that way that you add like that little ethereal like oh that's fun and alternative kind of situation to your look for materials for the winter velvet is really nice and warm and you can find it lots of times at the thrift store whether it's like a velvet dress or like a velvet coat or like a velvet shirt or a velvet skirt or like whatever you want to do velvet i think is really great and warm um same with leather if you get a nice thick plaid or flannel whether it's in a skirt or a um flannel like button down kind of thing those are great ways um that you can find warmth and like add alternative style whether you want to go um with like 
big graphics or like all black or like super colorful with like loud clashing colors or like pastel or like add lace to everything or add buttons to everything like whatever you want to do it really in my opinion comes down to the accessories so you don't have to like commit to one style in my opinion but try to figure out for your look or like kind of what you want your style to be like do you want to go for like the very like vampiric lacy super like high femme kind of look do you want to go for the really crusty like gutter punk kind of look do you want to go for um like a lolita super um frilly skirts and like tons of cool handbags and like lots of accessories like figure out what you want to do and then just a couple of accessories will take any like basic look like a long way um so like in my opinion if you add like a lace collar and a couple of bows in your hair immediately you get like a kind of lolita kind of sweet um pastel kind of vibe um if you add fishnet layers some buttons safety pins a little bit of hair color whether it's chalk or permanent a little bit of pa uh, punk kind of vibes um if you do like a velvet choker some lacy gloves some chunky boots goth pocket watch metallic belt eye patch steampunk you know like there's little elements that you can add to every single one of your outfits um when it's like the same accessory to like every single look and it will just like add that vibe that you are going for in my opinion like you don't have to go and like break the bank and buy like every single cool belt or every single cool choker or every single like you can start building your wardrobe really small in my opinion with just like oh let me like diy uh choker out of this ribbon and like let me um thrift this like random jacket and like slowly over time add my handmade patches to it like whatever it is it doesn't have to be like all in one go but like yeah just like little things over time and it'll be really cool in my opinion like it takes me it took me like years and years to build up my like wardrobe to what it is now but i freaking love it and like so many of the pieces in it are diy'd and it just like makes me so happy to like yeah anyway and then if you have long commutes in snowy situations um shoe spikes are actually very good but you have to be very careful not to wear them inside because they will damage your floors but you can get like little clip-on chains with like spikes on them for your shoes and it can make your goth boots a lot more safe for the winter because oh my god if i have not slipped in my like big platforms and it's very sad a more general tip especially if you're like outside like if you have to walk like to bus stops and to work and like that kind of thing i am such a big proponent of like a hot water bottle and that kind of thing in the winter when you're going on walks and just like holding it on your stomach like it seriously makes such a difference and if you can just like stash it away in your backpack or your bag while you're like at work or at school or like wherever you're going i feel like it's it's definitely worth it or if you're in the car if you have a car bring a blanket when you're like driving and it's cold in the morning i find that helps so so much anyway that's kind of the gist of the video i'm sorry if it like came off kind of weird i don't know i don't know um but basically um the the gist of it is lots of layers um figure out what your vibe is and kind of figure out what few accessories you want to um invest in or make or kind of get to put that vibe into any outfit that you want um don't feel like you have to break the bank and like go and buy like every single thing like you can work with what you have you can work with thrift store stuff you can ask around to your friends and family about like oh do you have any like old leather jackets that you don't wear anymore like i remember my dad gave me an old leather jacket at one point and it was like so big on me but it was my punk jacket for a while and you know now i have one that is like perfect and i like made myself recently and i love um but you know it um yeah, don't be afraid to DIY and try those things. Don't be afraid to wear whatever um, makes you happy and go with whatever vibe. Do not feel like you're like, oh, okay, I chose this goth look and now every outfit from now on has to be goth and I only can do that. Like, no, don't feel like you have to do that. If you like goth and you like punk and you like pastel and you like fairy looks and you like whatever, do whatever mixture of them you want. Do them on different days, do them all in the same go. It's fine like life is too short to care what other people are going to think about your fashion so have lots of fun diy your clothes and i love you so so much i really hope you're having a wonderful day all right so this looks like real casual classic look um for the winter for me um i've got big old skeleton hand earrings whatever like big chunky earrings you like i find that's really a fun way to spice up the um the look i've got skeleton hand gloves that i cut the fingertips off of so i can type properly on my phone and stuff got a bunch of metallic bracelets um these get really cold when they're exposed to the cold so i try to make sure that unless i'm like inside i keep them covered up with my jacket 
And then on the outer layer, I have just like a really baggy denim jacket. This one belongs to my boyfriend, but I love wearing it. It says lurking class. And then it has this patch of a bug that I made on it for him. And then this patch of a three-eyed cat that I made for him on it. And then the back has like, I think like a skeleton with like a riding a horse, something like that. Um, for my necklaces, I'm wearing this little possum necklace and then this crow skull necklace. This one is from the thrift store. Oh, these are from the grocery store around Halloween. Um, this sweater I got on Etsy a couple years ago for Cage. Um, I think it's from Fennec Design Co, but I'll definitely link their Etsy below because they make really beautiful stuff and I, I love their things and their stuff is really, really comfy. This one has, um, some sort of beetle with like bat wings and like a moon and yeah, it's really comfy. And then just like whatever t-shirt you want underneath. And then you can also wear long sleeves if it's extra cold. Then I'm wearing um, my patch pants. You can just use whatever jeans are the comfiest and put as many or as few patches as you like. Most of these I made myself with just um, some old scrap denim and um, white acrylic paint and I stitched on with dental floss so they're very inexpensive to make. They just require quite a bit of time. That's the main investment you're going to make in them but I would highly recommend making it if you like these styles of pants, um, you know? Then I'm wearing my um, trusty ducks. I wear these all the time, nice and warm for the winter. I've got some thick old socks underneath so that'll keep my feet extra toasty. But um, yeah, I might have to sew up this hole or just wear a pair of leggings underneath if I'm going out out in the winter because knee holes can get extremely cold extremely quick. But regardless, that's this look. Very casual, basic, everyday um, kind of look for me in the winter. Love the hoodie with an extra warm jacket thing because it helps prevent lots of layers of wind through getting from getting through you. But if your um, one jacket has like some holes in it, then usually two will keep you good. So, all right. So for this outfit, it's like a little bit more like formal and like elegant. One might, I don't know. Um, but basically I have my hair up teased in a scrunchie as always. Um, I'm wearing these big snake earrings and then behind it I have these um, sword earrings. I'm wearing this sword pendant with like this hoop thing. I got it on AliExpress. I have two um, buttons in my collar. This one is like this black cat Ouija planchette kind of moment. This one's a black cat carrying a heart. My dress is one that I modified from the thrift store. I have a video of it. I'll like post it somewhere up here maybe. So this is what the dress looks like. And if I were to be outside, I would have um, this really big sweater on. I'm such a big fan of like the slouchy sweaters, especially with like a collar sticking out, even if it's like the same color. I also have a bunch of scarves that I knitted a long time ago that I've been meaning to put on Etsy. So like having like with it adds like some color and stuff, which is fun. I have um, some rings and a watch that doesn't work, but still looks cool. And then for legwear, I'm wearing these like very thick leggings underneath my stockings. And the stockings I got from the dollar store maybe a year or two ago. They're like stripey with hearts on them. They kind of remind me of Alice in Wonderland. I have this spiky thing that I got from AliExpress. It's like a spiked knee accessory and I'm wearing my demonias. So this is just like casual kind of look with the hoodie on, very, very cozy sweater. And then if you have the dress, then it's very formal. And if it was really, really cold out, I would wear another um, layer underneath this, but maybe like something um, dark or like skin toned um, so that you wouldn't be able to like see it very much. But yeah, that's this look. Okay, I'm really excited about this look because I got my cape back from my parents' house. Um, I love it so much. It's like a super heavy velvet cape that I got at the thrift store for $25 a couple years ago. What a steal of a deal. Um, it has like this beautiful hood, all these wonderful clasps. Look at this. I'm obsessed. It's really cool. Um, so this is for my days where I am missing the renaissance fairs and I just want to go like walk in the misty mornings of the winter like in my cape and like live out all my elfy fantasies. Um, so that's this look. Starting with the earrings, I have uh, these big old snake earrings uh, with a bunch of rings um, that are super big gemstones. Like these are costume jewelry and stuff and I think they're super gorgeous. And then this one's for my grandma. This one's from my mom, another one from my mom. Uh, hot topic, <laughs> you know, it's a fun mix. 
Um, I've got these big snake earrings that I found at the thrift store. I'm obsessed with these. I got them for a couple bucks and I love them so much. I wear them all the time. The cape has armholes, but I can also just wear it like this. And I love that about it. For necklaces, I'm wearing um, this pendant that I found at the thrift store. It has like a fairy kind of cameo looking thing. Um, it normally hangs really low, but I just tightened it to make it a little smaller. And I'm also wearing this big Labradorite piece. This is kind of what the cape looks like from further away. My gosh, I think it's so freaking cool. I'm like so happy to finally be able to wear a cape and not feel like ridiculous in it because when I was like 12 and doing this, I got made fun of and stuff, you know? But now I can do it and like, yeah, some people might still make fun, but I do not care and I like my cape and I got it for a great deal. So jokes on everyone else. Um, okay, so yes. Then underneath that, I am wearing um, just like a button down shirt. I got this from the thrift store. It's like a white collar shirt. If it was extra cold, I would probably wear like a thermal undershirt underneath it. Like, you know, one of those long sleeve ones. Um, those are super helpful for the Canadian winters. You can also get like the top and bottom set, like the thermal undershirt and then the thermal leggings. And those are very helpful to wear under your clothes if you're like going, on a really cold walk, stuff like that. Take them off before work. I used to have to do that with school because I had to take all these buses and it was cold. Anyway, we're top of my thrifted button down. I have this green velvety tank top. I got it at the thrift store in the kind of lingerie section. This is a great section for finding really, really affordable pieces that are really like beautiful and kind of gothic vampire-y if you're into that style. Um, I'm also wearing these lacy um, spiderweb gloves from Spirit Halloween. I think they're super cool and they just add like that little extra edge to this look that I think is super fun. For my belt, I'm wearing this one that I got on Wish or AliExpress. It has a bunch of chains on it. Then I'm wearing this um, skirt that has all these like kind of pleats in it. I found this, I think either at the thrift store or in the free pile of clothes, like at the end of the year that people give away at my school. Um, but originally I had like two layers of black underneath um, and I thought it would look more cool if it was sheer. So I cut one of the layers so it just goes down to here. So it's like a mini skirt. And then you can kind of see underneath my mismatched tights. I have um, a stripy one on this leg and then a really lacy one on this leg. And underneath them, I'm wearing um, very warm skin tone leggings to keep extra toasty in the winter. And then for footwear, I'm wearing my big old demonians. And this just feels like a fun, elfy, vampire-y kind of vintage look. I don't know, especially with my cloak. Like, I'm really excited to wear my cloak out and about more in the winter. Um, and yeah, so that's this look. Okay, so this outfit I feel really comfortable, I feel like myself in. It's just kind of a very casual, everyday, very colorful, lots of reds, lots of layers, uh, very toasty for the winter. Okay, so starting at the top, got these earrings from Spirit Halloween. I love them a lot. Um, they have these like big red kind of candy hearts. They were marketed as clown earrings, but I think they're great as like everyday earrings. I'm wearing this um, choker that I DIY'd myself. I have a video where um, I show how I DIY it, so I'll link it um, probably in the description, I guess. Um, I'm wearing this DIY jacket that I did recently. I made a video of the process of making it, so feel free to check it out. I'll, I'll link that too. This isn't just a promo for my other videos, I'm sorry. Um, I'm wearing these um, gloves that I got from the dollar store around Halloween time. These are always a great find for me and I always get um, skeleton hand gloves from the dollar store or the grocery store around Halloween. Underneath um, my jacket, I have my boyfriend's flannel. Um, you could also wear like a denim vest or like a punk vest or a flannel vest if you have um, one of those instead or a long sleeve flannel for an extra layer of insulation. And then I'm wearing my they them t-shirt. It says, who are they and what do they want? And it's from Monarchs of Mars, I believe. I love their stuff. I love this shirt, it's super comfy, super high quality. Highly recommend checking them out. For my bottoms. I'm wearing um, this plaid skirt, another one that I have DIY'd. It's a little more structured than my pirate one. I love it a lot. I think I've shown it in videos before. Super comfy. One of my favorite elements on it is this patch with the eyes and the knives, swords, daggers. I still don't know what these are called, but they are very cool but I really like this patch. Um, and then I'm wearing skin tone um, fleece lined leggings underneath um, these tights that have like all these like layered stripes. I think I got these at a Halloween store a couple years ago and I think they're super cute. I think the original brand is Leg Avenue and they have so many cute tights and tight patterns. 
wearing a stripy sock on one leg, but if you were really cold, you could layer up as many cool patterned colorful socks as you wanted. And I'm wearing my everyday shoes, trusty rusty docks. Love those guys. Um, so this is like a very casual everyday outfit for me. I feel like myself wearing like all these clothes that I've DIY'd and it's just like, I don't know, it feels so right when you're wearing things that you like have all your own personal touches on. So love this outfit, feel very much me and it's nice and cozy with like all the extra layers. Um, but yeah, that's this one. <laughs> So this next outfit is super cozy and kind of like grandma core sort of situation. So I've got uh, my green scrunchie in my hair, um, Ouija planchette kind of earrings. Um, for my choker I have this um, one that I got on AliExpress a couple years ago. I have these little bees that are on my collar. I got these at Hot Topic and I love them. I got them years ago, but they're amazing. And this thrifted moon necklace. I also have like a bunch of rings on my fingers. The outfit itself is kind of like this situation. So I have two scarves that I've layered on and like if I was inside, it would be kind of more like this. And then if I was outside, definitely have more <laughs> scarf layers and maybe like an extra jacket on. Um, but first I have um, this one that I made like years and years ago by just like, taking a big piece of lace and like a green kind of fringy situation and attaching it together and if I like, if I fold it in like a triangle shape then I can drape it over my shoulders in like a nice kind of like toasty way. Um, and then I also have this scarf that I either found at the thrift store or kind of in the free pile at my university at the end of the year and it's just like green plaid and I like it a lot especially for just like toasting up and like wrapping myself up. Um, this sweater, I love it. I found it at the thrift store. I put this patch on it that says Frequent Crier Program Lifetime Member, um, which is like a pun on Frequent Flyer, but it has like this crying eagle and I just love it and I relate. <laughs> Nothing wrong with sensitivity. Um, I'm also wearing these arm warmers that I like a lot. They're green and they have kind of like a fishnetty pattern. I got them so long ago at some festival that I don't even remember. Um, but for dress or like for, yeah, main outfit, I have this velvet dress. And like I mentioned, velvet is like a great um, thing for the winter because it's like nice and toasty as a material. Um, and it's actually like a kid's Wednesday Addams Halloween costume that I found at the thrift store. So it was very short and I added like a little bit of lace trim to the bottom to like make it a little longer. And I also had to like cut the sleeves open so it would actually fit me. But I think it looks really cute, honestly. And I like highly vouch for like Peter Pan collars under velvet dresses. I think it's like a great look and also very toasty for the winter, whether it's like a built-in collar like this or like a shirt underneath your dress um, also works totally. I wear that a lot. Okay. So then for legwear, socks, etc., um, I'm wearing these like stripey tights that I got at the dollar store a couple of years ago. Underneath those, I have my um, very thick, um, warm lined leggings. Um, and then over top of my tights, I have these little ghosty socks that I got a couple of years ago around Halloween. I love them, I think they're super cute. And then I'm wearing these little bat um, extensions on these like velvety shoes that I found at the thrift store. I think they're extremely freaking cute and they just feel super, super fancy. Um, I'd probably wear this outfit indoors, um, like maybe going to work or like if I was still in school, I would definitely wear this going to class, but this is not like an outdoor outfit. It's more like a cute indoorsy, casual, cozy look. Okay, so <laughs> you guys know how I was talking about Hell Bunny and how cute their stuff was and how I couldn't like afford to get like a brand new piece or anything like that? Guess who found this? original hell bunny garment on facebook freaking marketplace for 60 dollars it's me it is missing one button but that's fine i do not care at all look at this freaking beautiful vintage piece i mean not vintage it's not vintage but it looks like look at this bustle it um is a large so i had to tighten it quite a bit um and yeah, I'm like really surprised that this is a large because I'm like how, like this is a medium or a small, honestly, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It makes me feel like a little Victorian goth kid and I'm obsessed with it. Um, my favorite detail about it is these like heart-shaped pockets, like can you believe? And the lacy collar I'm obsessed with and the little like puffy sleeves and um, the bows 
the bows on the um, cuffs. Oh my goodness. And the buttons are so cute and all the lace details. There's so much lace details, you guys. I'm obsessed with this. Um, I'm gonna be wearing my like leopard print jacket a lot, but I'm also gonna be wearing this because, oh my God, this is so cute. It feels like a cute little like dress, honestly. And it's like really nice and toasty. So like, yeah, check your local Facebook marketplace for Hell Bunny stuff because this is so cool and I'm obsessed and I love it. And okay, but yes, okay. Sorry for the rant, this outfit. So starting from head to toe, I have these earmuffs. I got these at uh, the thrift store. I'm obsessed with them. They're so cute. They're these giant pink hearts. I always see really, really cute um, earmuffs at the thrift store, but lots of times they're kid sizes, so that sucks. These ones though are adult sized, or at least they fit me, and I think they're awesome. For earrings, I'm wearing these like silver bird skulls. I got them um, on AliExpress, I believe. This collar is like a pink choker from Wish. Um, I love the little heart in it. It feels like really cute and pastel. The jacket we have talked and raved about. I'm wearing my Book of Spells purse. Underneath the jacket, yes, there are, the buttons are a little bit difficult for me to undo. I'm like really scared of breaking them. So I'm wearing this like pink pastel dress, which honestly like looks so cute, just like peeking out from under the jacket in my opinion. It's a, um, I got it from the thrift store and it's originally like a Stranger Things 11 costume, but I don't care. I think it looks really cute as like a little daytime dress. And like under this, it just is giving me all my like little pastel goth dreams. Um, I'm also wearing like this little head um, hair piece in my hair. It's a little pastel star I got at the dollar store. You can really easily DIY them by um, just buying foam stars and attaching them to hair clips. For my other necklaces, I'm wearing this like bird cage and sparrow combo. Um, I like to wear them with like my bird skull jewelry because it feels like kind of the whole cycle together, you know? Um, and then for foot, leg, etc. wear, I have on underneath everything my very thick um, skin tone leggings um, just to keep me extra warm. I have these black and pink striped tights. I think, oh my gosh, I must have gotten these online somewhere, but I do not remember for the life of me. And um, these are creepers that I'm obsessed with. They're vegan, they're pastel pink. They have these like little cute hearts, so they match like my earmuffs and um, my choker. And I just think it's like such a cute little look. I'm obsessed with the jacket. I think it looks amazing. It's gonna look so cute with all my outfits. It's like a little bit big, so I might try to sew it a little bit smaller, but like, oh my gosh, I think it's amazing. And like, yeah, the bustle, I can knock it over. Like, did you guys see this? This is so cool. Like how, how freaking cute and Victorian. I'm obsessed with that. Anyway, that's this outfit. <laughs> Okay, so this look is very fancy. It's very much like a party kind of look, but I love it. And I love this dress and I love this little like half coat, this little um, cape. It's like a mini cape and I'm obsessed with it. I got it at the thrift store. It has pom-poms. It's like this cute little short length. It's got almost like pom-poms along the rim of it. And it just like makes me really, really happy. I, I love it a lot. Okay. But starting at the top, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Um, for this outfit, I have these earrings. They are these giant bats with spikes on them. My boyfriend and I share these. Um, we got them, oh my gosh, I'll have to link the website we got them from because we got a sh sh we got a ton of silver earrings um, with all kind of like different gothy motifs. And I love the bats with the spikes very, very much. Um, they're super cool. This cape, um, I got it at a thrift store in Vancouver when I was going to school near there. It's so soft, it's so cozy. I like would not be able to wear this kind of low cut dress if it wasn't with like such a cozy cape over top, but this literally is like the warmest thing in the world. So if you can find yourself a cozy, fancy cape, oh my God, it's my favorite thing. It was um, a little on the pricier end. I think it was like 25 or 30, but I love it very, very much. And I also have like this very sparkly, lacy, um, I think it's actually a table runner but I wear it as a scarf and it can either go over top or like underneath as like a little like shawl thingy like this. It doesn't provide much more. It's very much more a fashion accessory, but I like it a lot. So without this, this is the top of the outfit. Um, I could totally wear it with a long sleeve shirt underneath, but when I first tried it, I didn't really like it. But if you were going to like an outdoor party, definitely you'd want like a long sleeve shirt underneath, maybe like one in a skin tone or like um, a lacy one or one with like stripes on it could be super fun. Um, but I'm wearing these arm warmers that I got from um, the dollar store a couple of Halloweens ago. I really, really like them. They're like lacy and they have ribbons at the top and they just feel kind of 
elegant even though yes dollar store whatever i don't care on top i have this like little harness thingy that i got from uh aliexpress or wish and then for my belt i'm wearing this baby fat belt that i got from the thrift store probably a year or two ago i like it a lot and i incorporate it in a lot of my outfits then this dress i love so much i don't know if it's picking up on camera but this dress has like a really cool red black almost blue color shift um, and it's velvet so it's actually like fairly warm even though it's like low cut and has like a high um, slit up both legs but I am wearing um, these really thick thick leggings underneath that are actually fleece lined and skin toned so they keep me extra toasty but also let me look super cute and then I have my big old demonias trusty resties I love these guys very much this outfit feels like a very kind of cool elegant gothic vampire lady this is um whatchamacallit this is super similar to an outfit i wore in one of my halloween lookbooks recently so i'm sorry if you saw that and you're like oh that's like the same outfit i don't care i love this outfit and um it works and i also even put like a little um fake flower in my hair so i thought that was a cute little addition um that's this look on to the next all right so this outfit is like really casual just like either chilling out going to work if i were still in school i would be going to class like that kind of thing uh so Hair on scrunchie, as always. I don't know why I'd be bother mentioning that even. Um, I have these cat earrings from Spirit Halloween that I absolutely love. They have just these little cats with skulls in them. Um, I have this kind of collar that I cut. I have this detachable collar that I cut from like a white button down thrifted shirt. And it's like super convenient to like just stick under clothes all the time to give that little extra like Ooh, fancy kind of uh, formally feel to just like casual outfits but um, on one of the lapels I have this little moon pin from IBC Draws my sibling gave it to me for I think Christmas last year and I love it or my birthday maybe and then this one that says life was okay I love it it has like a little skeleton coming out of a coffin for necklace I have this big old thrifted spiderweb necklace I love it a lot I don't wear it too often but I think it's cool and this um, kind of denim jacket is like really thin but it's it's like a good overlayer and my boyfriend painted these um designs the snake and the lady on the shoulder and i think they're just like so gorgeous and i love to wear this jacket and i think it's so cool um so yeah underneath the jacket i'm wearing this big um cozy sweater it says epic nap time it has like a big skull on it with an eight ball and um cobra and then underneath my giant sweater i have this red plaid skirt that i got from the thrift store as usual i have my um very thick warm leggings and over top of them i have these heart-shaped garters that are holding up mismatched socks so on one leg i have my dollar store stripey stocking and then on the other leg i have these um kind of warmer black and white um lacy top warmer socks and then for shoes i have my trusty demonias if i was working i'd probably just wear my docks instead but this is like a chill staying in going out going on a cozy little walk going to work whatever kind of casual everyday wintry look if it was really cold out i'd bundle up with like an extra scarf or a hat maybe okay so these earmuffs are super corny but i don't care i love them i found them probably two years ago at the dollar store in the kids section they have froggies in my opinion they're adorable um and i'm wearing them with mismatched skull hand earrings or skeleton hand earrings um my friend ren actually has the other pair like the other green one and the other purple ones so we're like matching even though we don't go to school any together anymore i love them and i miss them and they're great um i'm wearing my big old spiky choker collar from aliexpress i believe and um this sweater is just like a massive gray hoodie that i got at the thrift store a couple years ago i put this big patch on it that i bought from like a small business it says um moon child or forest child i believe and i also have this one that has a cat on it and it's really faded but it used to say like love cats hate capitalism love cats hate fascism love cats hate the state that kind of thing um and this is the back patch i love it i used to wear this hoodie like all the freaking time when i was like 16 so it's very well loved and that's why the patch is so faded but i love it anyway and i'm wearing these little like kind of arm warmer things that i got years ago from like some small businessy kind of situation at a festival they're lacy and green and i've been meaning to dye them black forever but pretend they're black <laughs> you know what i mean and then if i take 
the sweater off. I'm wearing the sock shirt. I love the sock shirt. I made this shirt recently out of socks following a tutorial by Fashion Wanderer here on YouTube. I love it. I used all these worn out Halloween socks and it looks great and it's super super toasty because sock material tends to be toasty so I'd highly recommend the sock shirt DIY tutorial from Fashion Wanderer as like a winter project perhaps. And then underneath it for an extra layer I'm wearing this um, black and white striped shirt that I love to wear under a lot of um, short sleeve t-shirts. Um, I got it at the thrift store and I like it because it has a very low cut neck so I can wear any length of um, shirt over top of it and it doesn't poke through because normally I kind of hate when like the undershirt pokes out of the upper shirt if that makes sense. Anyway, for leg wear I have um, this green plaid thrifted skirt. Um, it has this patch that says you're screwed on it. I got it from Hot Topic a couple years ago. And for other leg wear, I'm wearing my really thick leggings underneath everything. I think I got it at the Halloween store or at the dollar store around Halloween. Either way, they feel very witchy and I'm obsessed with them. And then these leg warmers, I actually cut. Um, they used to be a pair of leggings that were very uncomfortable and I never wore. Um, so I just cut off um, some of the bug pattern at the bottom. And now I have like cool bug leggings that are like gray and black and green and blue and have this fun ombre pattern so they feel super fun and it's like an extra toasty um, winter kind of situation and then I'm wearing my um, Doc Martens I love them um, yeah that's this outfit it's very like bright I've been um, really into spooky puke on tumblr lately and they do all these very like fun vintage inspired outfits so um <laughs> this one is was inspired by spooky puke i'll link them below because i think maybe y'all would like them um but yeah on to the next one <laughs> okay so i really like this outfit it's nice and toasty um it has this kind of poncho sort of cape situation and it looks like this and i think i actually got it on facebook marketplace um, or like some sort of Facebook trading group like years and years ago and it was like some sort of Lolita group and I love this cape so much it's like got this really nice f um, fuzzy hood and all these cool buckles on it I could totally add some like enamel pins or something if I wanted to for earrings I have these big like hoops and hands and knives and stuff that I got from Spirit Halloween and I'm wearing these very toasty arm warmers that I think my mom got me for Christmas a couple years ago I absolutely love them underneath the hoodie I've got many many layers um so first i have like a black and white um striped long sleeve shirt and then over top of that i have a black kind of translucent button up and on the lapels of the button up as always i've put some pins this one has like a little angel kitty and this is the moon pin again um over top of that i have a little kind of tank top it's like green and velvety and I paired it with this black strappy kind of harnessy thing that I got from Wish a while ago. I have this um, very kind of tattered looking skirt that I made myself out of an old skirt and a pair of shorts. I love it very very much and I wear it um, more often nowadays even though I originally never wore it when I first made it. And then for leg and footwear, I'm wearing my very, very toasty tights underneath everything, and then two pairs of high socks, and then my big stompy boots. Um, so it's really, really nice and toasty warm. Um, I love all the layers. Um, it feels really, really cozy and just kind of cool and dark with like all the metallic and like dark jewel tones and the stripes and like that kind of thing. So that's this look. I enjoy it very much. But yeah, I think it's like a cool look regardless. And very like fun and flowy and like kind of the skirt feels very fairy like so yeah that's this one <laughs> okay so this look is a little bit for more when it's like less cold out if it was super cold out i'd wear a big heavy jacket over it but um i have a big chain necklace for my earrings i have these bats and they match this kind of bat choker that i'm wearing i got this one on aliexpress and i freaking love it um, I have a, a heavier kind of velvety scarf. I really love this one. I got it from the thrift store for a couple bucks. It's like satiny on one side and velvety on the other and it's very, very toasty. And it has these like tassels. So very, very cool. I like it a lot. Um, this sweater, I actually got it from the thrift store that I used to volunteer at. It's a really nice um, velvety kind of material, but it feels also like kind of a little piratey or maybe like a little... I don't know, Victorian or something. Just like there's a little something with it with like all the brass buttons and like the little ruffles. I think it's really cool. I don't wear it as much as I should, but it's like really nice and warm, especially for the winter. So I think I'm gonna wear it more often. I also accessorized it with this little enamel pin that I got for Cage a couple years ago. And I got a 
bunch of rings on my fingers as always, or as sometimes. <laughs> Underneath my sweater, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt that actually belongs to Cage technically, uh, but it says take to the grave and it has a big bat on it. And I thought it would be cool and like matching like the earrings and the necklace. So that's why I went with this shirt. Plus it's like long sleeve. And if I were to be like indoors, it's still like really nice and toasty. It has all these roses down the sleeve. So I think that's super cool. I'm wearing this belt that I got at Hot Topic a couple years ago. Let me show you guys the legwear situation. And I'm wearing this skirt that I actually made myself out of a bunch of different um, plaid and lacy materials and stuff. It's really fun and it makes me feel kind of like a pirate when I wear it. Then for my legs, these are actually like extremely thick tights that I'm wearing underneath um, my fishnets. I've got my little um, pentagram socks that I got at Spirit Halloween and my Everyday Doc Martens. So that's this look, it's very casual. I would wear this kind of thing to work or um, just to like run errands. It's like very chill kind of indoor hangout look. Nice and toasty with the velvet. I think velvet's a great choice for winter, especially if you're kind of more into the gothic or Victorian or vintagey kind of aesthetics. Velvet's a great choice to look for and you can find lots of it at the thrift store often. So I definitely recommend looking out for that. Okay, on to the next outfit. Okay, so I'm obsessed with this jacket. I got it secondhand recently and it's just everything I ever wanted. It's so toasty. Love the little collar thing. Secondhand, faux fur, obsessed with it. And with my red heart-shaped sunglasses, I'm sorry, I'm like feeling my like little vintage situation. It's so much fun. Um, okay, so for this look, I have these like really giant star um, earrings that I got from the thrift store, giant heart-shaped sunglasses that I got from the thrift store, choker from AliExpress, same with this one and this um, lock necklace I just kind of made out of an old chain and a lock. Um, tons of rings. The aforementioned faux fur leopard cheetah whatever print jacket. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's everything. Um, underneath I have a long sleeve um, kind of mesh shirt with like some fun moths and stuff on it and this big old t-shirt that I tore up a while ago um, in a DIY sort of video. Um, and then I'm wearing this corduroy skirt, skirt that I put a bunch of patches on and then over top of it I'm wearing this belt that I believe I got from AliExpress. Yeah, the patches, I made all of them and I liked it a lot because it's like nice and toasty because the corduroy is like great for the winter and the skirt was originally from the thrift store so Great. Uh, same with this and this. Then for like leg and footwear, I'm wearing these um, tights that are actually like pretty toasty. I got them from the Halloween store, but if it was like extra cold out, I'd definitely wear some skin tone um, leggings underneath just to keep extra warm. And I'm wearing my Demonias as always. Um, this outfit, I just feel like so cool and confident in this. Like. Hello, I'm sorry. Um, definitely like feeling myself in like the vintage vibe and it would be like a perfect, oof, fling in the rings, it's too much. Um, but basically, yeah, I love this look. I think it would be a super like great, just like weekend go on, on like a early morning walk. Like Cage and I have been doing our like walks more recently or like wanting to do them more recently. And like now the freaking snow is down, like it's snowing today for the first time and I hate it. But regardless, walks and in my toasty jacket it'll be super super fun um if it was extra cold i'd definitely also add like a scarf maybe a hat and some mittens but um yeah for now little vintage situation i love it okay on to the next <laughs> Alright, so this look is basically just like a variation on like an everyday wintry kind of look for me, whether it's like staying in or going to work or like whatever. Um, I have these earmuffs that are really helpful for like keeping my hair like nice and fluffy but also keeping warm in the winter if I'm inside. Um, I have these big earrings that have like hearts and um, kind of crow skulls on them. I got them on AliExpress. I'm wearing two scarves at the same time. The big chunky one um, was from my aunt and this one I got in the free pile at my university at the end of the year when people were kind of giving away stuff. <laughs> and then for sweaters it's kind of I don't want to say like an academia look, but like maybe we could go there. So for a necklace, I have this bat pendant with like a black kind of shiny stone on it. I think I got it on AliExpress a while ago. Um, 
collar um, from the thrift store. It's just like a collared shirt, but also in the past I've had these shirts where I just like cut off the collar of the shirt so I can um, switch it out with different outfits as like kind of a detachable situation. Um, this sweater, I put a patch on the back and a patch here and I made these no face elbow patches that I think are super fun but the sweater itself was originally just from the thrift store from the men's section and um, I would just be wearing like a t-shirt under it in the winter for like an extra layer of warmth. For the legwear situation I have a plaid skirt layered over a pair of black and white plaid leggings. These are both from the thrift store and underneath them I have my really thick fleece lined leggings and then I'm wearing um, three pairs of leg warmers that are all gray but like different shades of gray um, to give just kind of like that really big lower leg kind of situation look and I'm wearing it with my Doc Martens that I wear every day. So this is just like a very cozy everyday wintry look. If you had like a scarf that had like skulls on it that would be like a cool like gothy thing or like roses if you wanted to go more that style or you could do like a pastel scarf um, if you wanted to go for like the pastel route or just like all black and like kind of spider webby and lacy like whatever you want to do. There's tons of variations on the look but I think that just like a big chunky sweater and a big scarf can be made alternative and can not look cute in the winter. Okay, so this next outfit is fun. It's like this. It has a bit more... I was going for like a more steampunk influence, so I have these goggles that I got, um, I think actually at London Drugs a couple years ago, which is funny. Uh, but I've always thought they were kind of fun and I never get to wear them that much. But when I wear them, it's usually as a headband because those goggles, they kind of look weird. Um, I'm wearing these big moon earrings that I got at the thrift store that I used to volunteer at. Um, this is a necklace that I made by just using like a ribbon and then attaching a, a chain and like a key that didn't work for anything that I had um, to it. And I think it's just kind of a fun metallic accessory. Um, I'm also wearing this bronze locket that I found at the thrift store and this Labradorite piece. Um, then these gloves I got I think at the dollar store and I just cut off the fingertips. Um, for this jacket, I got it at the thrift store like years ago, probably when I was like 15 or so, um, and I love it. It's missing a button that I need to replace, but otherwise it's like really, really cool, or it's still really cool regardless. Underneath, I'm wearing a flannel for some extra warmth. Okay, one second. Underneath, I'm wearing a flannel for some extra warmth. I also bleached it and stuff to add just like a little bit of interest, and also this Led Zeppelin shirt that I bleached. Um, my skirt, I love it, one sec. My skirt is super cool, I love it very much. I found it at the thrift store and it's just like this kind of patchwork skirt with all these like random bits and bobs of like lace and kind of recycled looking materials. I put this um, belt over top that I got at Hot Topic um, a couple years ago. It's just like black uh, fake leather with like all these different belts and buckles and I find it fun. Then I'm wearing my like fleece lined leggings for some extra warmth. These dollar store stockings um, just for like a little bit of color and like Halloween vibes. And then my everyday combat boots, good old V and Doc Martens. I wear these pretty much all the time. Um, but yeah, that's this look. Yeah, I think that might be the end of the video. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you spending all this time with me, especially if you watch till the end, because I feel like this was a really long one. So. Thank you for your patience and your time. I hope you're having a wonderful um, winter season or if you're in the other hemisphere, I hope you're having a nice summer season. Uh, regardless, feel free to put your own um, tips for staying warm and toasty in the winter in alternative fashions, whatever your alternative fashion is that you like or whatever fashions, because like I like a lot, y'all might like lots too. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this. I hope you're very kind to yourself and you give yourself a nice warm hug. So um, yeah, that's all from me for now. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Bye.